breathers. So I want to go over how you can utilize uh, the scalar necklace. Many different ways you can utilize it. So one of the one of my favorite ways of utilizing it is pointing it to the sun and gazing gazing into. I don't even know if that's even a good. Yeah. Doesn't really matter as long as there's a light spectrum there. Uh, gazing into it through the light spectrum and now you're really looking through the holographics in that way that's one way to utilize it I see Victoria on here she just got hers <laughs> if you want to hop on Victoria so another thing you can utilize it in that sense uh, if you have a pyramid place it underneath the pyramid that's another thing and something to realize that glass it's 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 really a crystal. I'm gonna go over I'm gonna go over why we chose glass. Why glass? I'm gonna go over it quickly. Why glass? Oops. So this is white glass, <laughs> but not the full one. Let's get a better vantage point. Uh, there we go. So yeah, so glass. Metaphysically, glass represents energies of transformation, merging, rebirth. So the light shining through the glass prism brings in the vibration of those specific color energies. So glass has its own metaphysical properties and has energy like everything else in the universe. Glass also brings together the traditional four elements. Through fire and air, the silica earth element is made molten and transformed into liquid to then return to its state as a solid when it's cool. So man-made glass has, has been found as early as 4500 BC, Mesopotamia 300 and in ancient Egypt and we're actually going over some stuff with sun breathing with ancient Egypt has a correlation with glass which is very important so the first the first types of glass was natural obsidian volcanic glass and other things like knives jewelry etc keyword jewelry right <laughs> jewelry so when it comes to ancient jewelry, when it comes to ancient jewelry, we know we know from everything they wore had a purpose or a functionality, if you will, because this is technically a functioned a, a crystal or a pendant or a necklace that actually does have functionality to it. Now we saw this with Aura Portal when you wear the necklace and you have that white type of glow around that area where the necklace is, which is super important. So it's such a, it, it's, it represents such a cleansing energy, right Jen? Yeah, it represents such a cleansing energy to it. Now another thing I want to go over when you get your own pendant. is blowing your intention into it literally bringing the thought breath connection with which is a form of scalar in that aspect because think about it you have two two dimensional uh two dimensional aspects of the the scalar and breath what i call the scalar and breath connection where how you breathe is how you think and how you how you think is what has how you do but tapping back in, into it we know that breath has the importance of controlling the pH in the blood right and when you control the pH in the blood now what's pumping 70% of the blood now you are shifting the chemical factors and state of the brain it's just like when you're 
when you catch yourself panic breathing, the person says, oh, I can't breathe or et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. They think a certain way when they're in panic mode or in sympathetic mode, not parasympathetic, which is more controlled, more nasal breathing. Oh, level mind, Victoria, do you want to hop on here? Wow, right when I put it on today, I got a boost of energy and recognized, oh, reorganized my space. Literally cleansing. <laughs> fire, fire, yeah, fire. How are you guys? Welcome. We're tapping into the scalar pendant and different use cases you can utilize. I personally have kept it on as soon as I got it like I slept with it I was like wow I am feeling the metaphysical difference with this on I am really really feeling it and I don't I don't say that from m many things I don't and someone brought it clear to me they were like hey is this better than another thing that's also in the same space listen I can only vouch what I can vouch for and that's what I focus on. I don't like comparing. You know, everyone has their different journeys of how they do things. I'm just sharing another way of addition. Addition to what you already do or are getting. Like, why? Yeah, in the sense of limitation, why, why limit? Why limit anything? If you can get that scalar device or that scalar device and that scalar device, why not just combine them? Why not? Oh, these these go for these go for two. And it's worldwide shipping. Worldwide shipping, guys. <laughs> so another thing you can you can definitely do <laughs> with this is place your water on there for at least like five minutes. Place your water on top of it cleanse the water or energetically imprint the water that's another thing you can utilize uh, these scalar pendants or necklaces with as well uh, it again it has such like this this really goes hard like it really does like I'm I'm just in awe this really goes hard it does hey Isaac what's going on Uh, yes, Trey, indeed. So another thing you can utilize this as well, I want to share with you guys, and you can do this any crystal. I I don't care about being a, a gate gatekeeper type of thing or whatever. Anyway, y Victoria, do this right now. <laughs> Since you're watching, do this right now. So I like to start off with my left hand and you just have the crystal in your hand and you squeeze. On the inhale, let go a little bit. On the exhale, squeeze. And it's going to take time, but now you're going to feel the pulsations. And when, when you feel the pulsations and you're slowing down your breath as much as possible, what is pulse? What is a pulse? What gives the pulsation? A frequency, a wave. Hmm. What does that sound like? Wave, frequency. Oh, scalar. Pulse. The pulse right here, well, one of the pulses affects all the other pulses. <laughs> And if you really look at pulses, right, they're technically, in my opinion, they're a form of black holes. I can go so deep in this, <laughs> but I want to say that for another, another time. I'm still squeezing, by the way. Oh, snap. Hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> I just did What's it with the up? breathing. <laughs> <laughs>
Hey, we're gonna do some more together. Like let's let's, let's beam, it. beam it out there. Let's let's beam it out there. I am so happy uh you got one and you're really enjoying it. <laughs> this is live, this is real. I love it. Yes. I love it. I love I... it. I love it. Cause I I'm I was sleeping with it and I'm like I woke up, I'm like, man, I am not taking this. Oh one my off. gosh. I haven't I taken it, take off it off since I got it today. I, I got like this this like intuition. I was like, I need to go check the mail. And right when I checked the mail is when the mailman was coming. And I was like, yes. <laughs> it came. <laughs> man, synchronicity, it's 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 a beautiful happening. Man. All right. So, what type of what type of breath? Because we can technically do any style of breathing with with the, right. with the uh, flex breathing with the squeezing. What uh you know you've been you've been in breath family for so long. Uh, what are you feeling in this what exact moment? What are you feeling? I'm feeling. Um, I'm feeling like I need grounding. I'm I'm deep. I'm deep. Pretty deep into a liquid fast right now. So it came like just in time. But yeah, I'm feeling a little like a little airy. <laughs> Rounding? Okay, perfect, perfect. So guys, uh, we're going over the scalar pendants and how to use them if you're just joining. Welcome. And we came out with this about a couple days ago. <laughs> and it's it's taken it's gonna take people by storm fire. I'm just honored. I'm still in awe of this because we were just formulating and formulating in the lab just consistently i'm like hey what what are, how are we gonna do this how are we gonna do like it has to be very impactful and it is it, it literally is it is the same symbol that's on every scale that we have shipped out all over the world and it's literally giving the same harmonic impulses that is designedly connected within literally our own <laughs> network. We're literally creating our own network. If you really, that's what I'm it's looking like a doing. Whole grid, that's what, that's like the, the symbol and the scalar frequency exactly. like beaming out exactly. like all over the plane. Exactly, exactly. And I highly emphasize um, doing energy practices or even prayer. Like we have scalars in churches or in different all of these different religious places of being it's now bringing what people thought was quote unquote new age and showing um religious scholars like the actual history etc and how it really connects and they're like all right we need this in our mosques we need this in my churches we need this in the temples and i met i met uh sandra rose michael um, who's been in the scalar game for over 20 plus years. And I didn't know of her until like a month ago. And then I met her and it was this beautiful confirmation in terms of what we're doing and the, the next shift that we're being part of. It's, it's, it's like it's amplifying everywhere. Just like a <laughs> Yeah, I, I wanted to do another live on this, but it's official. We got Chicago fully scalared. Um, today is August what? Third, August third, right? Yeah. So August third, twenty twenty two, we have all of Chicago scalared. Shout out to people who are doing the work, going on Google Maps, taking the screenshot, sending it over. Really appreciate it with you. Uh, I have more details on the previous live I did. I definitely want to focus this live on the scalar pendants and tap into some breath. You said grounding, yeah. right? You said grounding. All right. So I feel like uh, in terms of grounding, flex breathing is definitely great right now with the left hand for grounding. Yeah. So what guys, what, what we're going to do is we're taking the scalar necklace and we are placing it in our hands squeezing it on the exhales letting go on the inhale squeezing on the exhales and what this does when you squeeze any crystal which this is and it has a scalar impulse with it we are harmonizing our pulsations with the crystal which is a 
another form of scalar in itself, but adding the the harmonic biodimensional imprint, it's it's now in a harmonized aspect because you can actually use scalar for, of course, the wrong reasons, and you can actually use scalar for more of a harmonizing reason, especially when that is the main intent. So you we're gonna place it on the left hand right now and you said grounding okay so let's focus on three nine six on the exhales all right so three nine six on the three, exhales nine, are like a pattern going back and forth with yeah so we're gonna okay. be taking a regular inhale and then we're gonna be exhaling three regular inhale exhale nine partial breaths on the exhale regular inhale exhale six and then i'm going to say relax and then i'll say round two during the relaxation really slow down your breath and then i actually want you to fully squeeze just hold the squeeze it doesn't have to be too tight just very subtle and that'll be like the first starting round and then the second round just no no aspect of flex breathing the flex breathing was just to start us up so that'll be the first round and then just keep the the impulse going and hold the hold the hold the clench got it all right okay so we're gonna start you can you can lay it on your lap it's perfectly fine if, if you feel it if you feel that it needs to be up there it's okay I don't want your hands <laughs> let me time. take it off <laughs> i had it like tied <laughs> Yeah, I want you also to be more relaxed in this in this state as well, so that way there's less tension. But yes, yet there is that one focus on that on the hand here that mm -hmm. we're driving a lot of energy to, and it's simple. As long as we're in the stillness, but we're actively focusing on this area more and more, <laughs> mm. it'll shift over. Mm. All right, ready. So I'll demonstrate a full round for those that are just joining. So again, pure nasal breathing. We're gonna take a regular inhale, three partial breaths out. <laughs> then a regular inhale, nine partial breaths out. <laughs> regular inhale, six partial breaths out. and then go back to baseline. Relax, deeper and deeper exhales if you can. Really slow it down. And then I'll say round two, and then we'll restart. Let's go. Ready? Okay. So we're gonna start in three, two, one with the inhale, let's go. Round two, starting with the inhale in three, two, one.
Next round, starting in three, two, one. Now on the count of three, you're gonna take the deepest inhale you possibly can, slow, and the longest exhale you possibly can, slow. Three, two, one. Thank you for sharing the breath. <laughs> How are we? My whole <laughs> left arm got goosebumps like crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Powerful. <laughs> well, thank you for be being among the first to get one. <laughs> You're like part of the pre-orders. Like the pre-orders just came in like crazy, and I was like, "All right, guys, like no, just wait oh for the website." Oh my gosh, I was ready for it. Yeah. Um.
Yeah, I was uh, I, I was thinking like these are going to get into the hands of like those that it's supposed it's supposed to be like yeah it's just it it definitely has that yeah, resonance for I sure. I agree. I feel it. And also, if you're watching and you want one, ten percent off with the link in my bio. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the code one. is L -L -L -N -N -D. level one. Yeah. Oh, without <laughs> the I. Yeah. So it's level like level min. Min. Tongue twisters. Does anyone else want to hop on live and share their experience if they tapped in with the breath or not? You can also do that with any crystal, uh, but definitely this one is, is like, it, it feels like tingly wow. in my hand. Yeah. <laughs> and that's what I've been noticing too on, um, on my, even on my phone, my phone has a bunch of protection, but it's getting to the point where like, oh snap, either I'm getting <laughs> way more uh, energy sensitive or is this like helping to like enhance or is like telling me <laughs> like no <laughs> like, like no Whoa. it's getting to that point yeah well i was squeezing it on the on the exhales and like in the in-between phases i could feel like how my heartbeat was pulsing it um but it wasn't just in my hand like i was feeling the my heartbeat start to like the pulsing and the electricity start to like go up my arm and like into my shoulder and it was like like i felt it more mm. powerful simple tools i just i'm like how can i make things more simpler and mm. yet powerful you know and, and it starts with it starts with love it starts with love and good intention and i feel like the energy just brings you where you need to be at a certain point and just just like <laughs> i'm i'm just i'm just a vessel you're the, the conduit vessel. more than the creator yeah i love um, you i'm just a vessel yeah and i i appreciate that sentiment of humility but this is beautiful creation thank you so much <laughs> thank you sister thank All you right. thank you thank you thank you I'm gonna. We're gonna be traveling with a lot. We're gonna be traveling with a lot. Just even. I'm gonna wear as much as I can, like before people like <laughs> buy. So I just want to get an experience where I'm just I like sell. loaded with them. You know. You can hang it like <laughs> dangle them from the pyramid. <laughs> I gotta go back. I gotta go back now. I gotta go back. <laughs> I, I am I am going back. Well, Bosnia. Oh, 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 oh. I think I know what you mean. <laughs> oh, you thought I was talking about Egypt. Oh. <laughs> 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 uh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> that one hit me out of nowhere. <laughs> oh, my. Uh, I I did it I did it with the frequency breathers I did it with the pyramid that we sleep under, mm. so. Oh snap! Oh, that's another thing, another use case of of this. Yeah, uh, if you can get to the highest point mm. in your room, wherever you sleep, put it on top, put it on top, let it just dangle, put it on top. That's another way. If you want to have like, cause think about it. Uh. In the inverse, doesn't matter. There's layers. There's layers in the aspect of the earth and the sun in that sense, that etheric energy. So when you have it up there, it's like it's like hitting the extension of your aura, your auric field. So the higher it is, the more it has think of it as a, a zoomed out view. And it can be more detailed and hitting more more mm. points and corners and stuff in that aspect of of the information it gathers in terms of the crystal mm -hmm. being the scalar that it is, 
it has a relationship also with light, but it's technically so faster than light, right? And something to note, what is, so the aspect of the, the, uh, the black hole sun, right? When gravity, gravity, gravity swoops down like that, and that is how you could say that the black hole is somewhat mm. actually pulling light. That's why when you go up higher in the mountains, why does it get colder? Why isn't it warmer if it's closer to the sun, right? So something to note with that, it's the pulling that creates yeah. the heat. So gravity as we know it is actually inverse in a sense. And it's, it's the pulling of the, the black hole, which is the sun. If you, when you have the eye, you can literally see like the grade and it, it literally is a black hole. When you get to the point where you can look at the sun directly and even during sunset and sun, sunrise hours, you see like a glimpse of that as, as long as you've, yeah. been, you've been consistent. Um, you'll, see, you'll see at least a glimpse of that. You know, I remember when I was first starting to see layers and layers and the more I, I, I personally was consistent with it, I can see, I'm like, whoa. And now I can, it literally almost looks like an eclipse because I've, I've stared at the sun during an eclipse. Super blessed for that. What a beautiful time of just, and it's funny, that's where everything started. In <laughs> oh, man. Wow. Yeah, but <laughs> humble beginnings. <laughs> um, but you know, just just building that awareness and being being adherent and being in unison as much as you can with natural law. It's a beautiful outlier of, of what nature mm. really has to give you. You know, you have more appreciation for it. And this, this, this beautiful piece is definitely a tribute and, and what we're using it for. You know, this is the same blueprint that goes onto the scalar that people have been sending in pictures and they've been seeing results in their lives and farmers who sent the pictures of their land and finally realizing that, hey, we don't have to adhere to this whole campaign of save the soil or that type of thing. In that sense, we can literally take matters at our own hand and not wait for the government at that point or other entities that we can't really go behind and say, do they truly have our back, you know? so. You know, that's why I, I wanted to expand the aspect of just the human body in the aspect of us ut utilizing scalar. I'm like, what about the whole field around us? Because scalar is everywhere. Scalar is that zero point that coincides with mm -hmm. the spirit, the soul, and allows this body to come into 3D reality the way it has of how atoms correlate and communicate to give you that physical density at that moment in time because nothing is truly solid. Everything is mm -hmm. moving at a molecular level. So <laughs> at that moment in time, it's, it's, it's fractured mm. to many degrees because <laughs> to <laughs> infinite degrees actually, because time is this, you know, <laughs> man, <laughs> beaming today <laughs> no but right. it's I didn't true want to go and i deep. think um <laughs> it's powerful like like we talked about creating that grid and like how it's on the symbol is on all the scalars and it's harmonizing with all the different things that have been put on these scalars so i feel like in a way it's kind of like joining momentum with all these other reflections that are healing that have those intentions of like cleansing and purifying their vessels so that they can be a more clear conduit of this like source frequency to beam through and like harmonizing with that vibrancy, that radiance. Oh, beautiful said. You, you, can, you can drop the mic. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I think it was around this time last year 
that you initially took pictures from breath fam to be put on the scaler and i sent a picture of my belly button <laughs> and i remember like <laughs> i remember um like how how vastly like my timelines kind of shifted in that space and like specifically and like how much has changed in my life since then in that direction in that momentum in that intention of healing and growth and like just natural magnetism of like not having to try so hard in life you know you sent one of the best parts of the body <laughs> the center think about it think about it the center if if everything is from as above so below same, same thing to applies you know that zero point has energy twirling up clockwise and the other energy twirling up anti-clockwise meeting back into that zero point hence plus positive canceling each other out in that sense and what does that sound like a center center meeting point <laughs> the belly button Th that is why the breath is so powerful at shifting not just our physical and give us you know uh toned natural facial lifts <laughs> i don't know <laughs> it, 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 well nasal breathing nasal breathing though uh not mouth breathing because mouth breathing gives the opposite more um you know hey hey you depends on your reality it depends on where yeah. you are are shifting right your reality your choice your reality is a body of choice oof okay <laughs> You're dropping the gems today, one after another. This is a gold mine. <laughs> it is. It really is. <laughs> yeah, but we're we're in the mind, right? Because everything is thoughts. Thoughts in itself is scalar, right? If if not if it's a fact that this whole reality is made by the subconscious mind, the the sub the sub reality. Hmm. Sub. Sub means either below, but also it could also mean inside within another mm -hmm. inner opening. Hmm. That's where the soul resides. Sub zero. Ah, sub zero. <laughs> sub zero. Subconscious. Because that one conscious thought is an amalgamation of mm. subconscious happiness. Ooh. That one conscious breath is an amalgamation of okay. subconscious happenings as well. So again, the breath resides in all dimensions of reality. And yeah, it shows us ripples in, in that density. Mm. Beautiful. Man. All right, sister. Thank yeah, you for thank you hopping for on. And and definitely keep me updated on Yeah, maybe maybe next time we see you. Like uh yeah, definitely keep us updated. Have fun with it. Uh what else did I not go <laughs> over? So I, I I mentioned placing it under placing the cup on top of it like for five minutes did you mention um something that, that i like to do with uh crystals or tensor rings is put it underneath my pillow when i sleep oh yeah oh yeah that's one too or if you um if you if you're laying on your back and you can be still as possible it's i literally have this on my heart like I, i'm telling you i don't <laughs> <laughs> don't take it off <laughs> I will not take this off. I will listen. I love this so much that if I go in the water, I'm <laughs> taking it off. If <laughs> if, if I go in the ocean, I'm taking it off. I'm like, I'm not. I'm not risking it. I'm not risking it at all. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I feel very connected to mine already. Yeah. I don't see myself taking it off for a little <laughs> bit to get get more acquainted. No, it's it's. Mm -mm. no too powerful too powerful a beautiful uh, a beautiful 
a beautiful gifted harmonic resonance from the ethers of our subconscious mm. meeting point is this beautiful scalar pendant it really is uh necklace <laughs> yeah guys this is the symbol that is part of intentional harmonization for earth and i do want to put it out there we're taking farms for free we're taking screenshots of a a city not town or you can do town town is okay too yeah you can do that um town state mainly state sorry focus <laughs> on state <laughs> state because we did we did florida mm. literally two days ago oh we did florida do, two days ago we could do the venue and... for the concert <laughs> <laughs> yes okay <laughs> true true oh we're going to fkj we're going over there we're doing that we are definitely i bought my ticket today we're definitely going there Oh snap! Oh, we gotta. All right, we're buying ours today. <laughs> we'll do that. Sure. Yeah. Uh, FKJ. If you're seeing this, we're coming. <laughs> we're coming, buddy. <laughs> we're coming. So. An another thing. Another way to utilize this is laying down, placing it on the third eye around there. So any ailments that you have or aches, placing it around that spot and actually like press, mm. pressing it down into that spot. And not, another thing uh, we're going to try right now. I got time. If you're up for it, you got time. All right, guys, you can join in. You can join in for this. So we're going to do another form of flex breathing and it's with clapping. So on, on the, on the inhales, hands towards the sun, the sun is where you're at. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Wait, are I'm you more, more west, west or east? Oh, that's why. Okay, yeah, because the sun is. I about got. To I probably still got. Mm, I give it thirty minutes. Yeah, yeah, around that like, time. Like before, before it goes all the way, yeah. like below the all right. horizon. Yeah. All right, guys. So, on on the exhale, you're gonna be clapping. On the inhale, hands up. Exhale, clap. And go at your own pace. You don't have to follow me. Go at your own pace. And the style of breathing we're going to be tapping into is threes. Regular inhale and threes. And a great tip for you, a, a great tip for you guys is on the, on the inhale, make it very, very slow on, you know what? scratch it let's not do threes so we're just gonna do a regular inhale regular exhale keep it simple today on the clapping on the exhale hand open clapping on the exhale all right guys so go at your own pace close your eyes for this and then when i say rest or relax you're gonna have the crystal the pendant the necklace the scalar necklace in between the in the in between the hands from here and regulate the breath only with the nose at that point all right you ready <laughs> all right and then when i say round two then we're gonna go back into it you can put down the necklace and then pick it back up we're gonna go for three rounds here all right guys go at your own pace in three two one Let's go.
relax. Place a pendant in the hand. You could either be in prayer position or just have it on your lap. It's okay. Really slow down the exhale, deeper and deeper into the silence of the breath, only with the nose. Next round, go at your own pace. Putting the crystal in the hand, being very still, feeling the pulsation, breathing into the pulsations. Inhaling what the body needs. Exhaling more life into what the body needs. sharing the breath. Yeah. Anytime I do breath work with with the clapping um, and this time for sure, it kind of like, I feel naturally inspired to do some sorts of like Qigong movement or like energy work with my hands because they're so yeah. like activated and electric. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> yeah, we're gonna go over scalar movement next week with the sun breathing. Yes. Have, you, have, you, have you tapped yeah. in? I've been I've been experimenting with the week one still. I haven't moved on to week two yet because I want to take my time with each more than I did with the mental breath work. I kind of want to go back over the mental breath work again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Do oh share your gosh. experience. Yeah, I mean, I think the beautiful thing about the way that you teach breath work is how you you say, and it's true, it goes beyond the sit down session where I'm able to integrate life as it comes at me instead of like taking on so much, feeling overwhelmed and then go hiding away and like integrating and like coming back to center. It's kind of like as life comes to me, I'm able to find ways creatively to harmonize and um accept the energy that's beaming towards me like the whole point of alchemy breath work you know like using the breath to alchemize and mental breath work allows you to do it in a way where just as you go about your day there's so many different um uh what's the word there's just so many different types that you share and so many different applications for each one so it's like however i'm feeling i just feel into like maybe one pops into my head and i feel more balanced afterwards I feel like just this general sense of like life is helping me progress in whatever direction like my intention is set. Oh, beautiful sister. Well, you're welcome down here anytime. <laughs> I'm I'm toying with the idea of this breath Can dojo seven you. in person. <laughs> oh yeah, breath dojo seven. Oh yeah, I can talk about it now. Yeah, it's <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Brett Dojo 7 is August 28th. And do you want to go over your experiences with Brett Dojo? But let yeah. me give you them a background real quick first. So we start 3 a.m. Eastern time and we go every three hours uh, doing an alchemy breathwork session all the way till the next day. Some days online, it was two hours. We did two days. And uh, this one's also going to be just one day as well. Well, it's going to be hosted here in Miami. There's going to be a pool, sauna. In between, you can go as you please. Let's say you want to skip two sessions and just come oh, whenever, cool. literally. Like, the whole day is yours. And you also get the playback, by uh, the way. Yeah. Um, I'm definitely yeah. Um, desiring a breath dojo in person. But, uh, yeah, the sessions that I've done on live, um, online, I've done the two-day one. And I've done multiple of like the one day sessions where it's like every three hours. And um, it's such a like beautiful shift back into like what's really important and like the foundation of everything else in your life. And I feel like it really beautifully reset me. And also because um, you started doing breath dojos over a year ago, I think, or just almost um, just about. Yeah. And I was... I was um, wanting to get go deeper into fasting, but I understood, um, thankfully, through like the different mentors and teachers that I have is like, you want to build a solid foundation of breath work and meditation. So if you're looking to get into fasting, I feel like combining like breath dojo, it makes fasting like so much more easy because you're focusing on that primary source of nourishment. Um, so that really kind of gave me a boost and more insight into fasting and more so like pranic nourishment and focusing on like shifting densities into like how you're feeding yourself. Mm. Oof. Another <laughs> mic drop. <laughs> but yeah. Well put, sister. Well put. I feel like I'm just gonna right. I'm gonna end it there. Uh, yeah, I gave a lot definitely. <laughs> thank you. Right. But how was, yeah, thank you, sis. I'm going to let, maybe if anybody else yeah, wants to pop yeah. up here. Thank you sure. again for, for inviting yeah, talk me. To talk to you soon. soon. Tell Jen I love her so much. I love you, Jen. Okay. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there she is. <laughs> All right, guys. Does anybody want to hop on here live and share their experiences with the breath we just did? And you learned a lot in terms about that scalar impulse. Pulse. Pulse. 
what has a pulse? Something that is alive. Scalar is a beautiful symphony that shows us that the universe is alive. <laughs> yes, it is. Yes, it is. It's a beautiful domino effect from the lightest touch of, if you want to say, God, Allah, Jah, the Most High, a signature of life, literally, <laughs> wild, just wild, man, what a time to be alive, what a time to be alive, I do also want to share this as well, alchemy breath work is also a form of scalar breath work. What's also scalar within the body? In this receiver, your thoughts, your auric field that has a connection with your emotions. Yeah. They're all a divine fingerprint and signature of scalar energy. And that's how they communicate. Breath is a form of that because we saw before and after with Aura Portal what Gamma Breath did. And I did a form of Gamma Breath if you heard towards the end of the breath that the longest inhale you possibly can, the longest exhale, that was a Gamma Breath. That was at least over a minute, maybe. I don't even know. And I tend to stray away from looking at time. I just, again, time is another stress factor. You know, if you really want to, you want to put down, I don't want to say put down, but just open your awareness and, and target in the aspect of what I call breath consciousness. It's not as mechanical as we are told it is. It's deeper than that. It's, it's a scalar connection. The breath is a scalar connection towards the symphony of life. That's what you're seeing with the power of subliminal breathwork music. Breathing, firing, connecting, harmonizing every thought and breath with the music and the expression of the breath in those harmonic times. Keyword harmonic. And then whoever is listening to it, it's another being who is breathing, they are feeling the resonance at a powerful level beyond the aspect of frequency because scalar waves or scalar impulse or scalar another division of scalar regardless it's scalar there is divine connection in that aspect beyond the aspects of time because scalar scalar is also non-hertzian they're non-hertzian waves so there are different waves in what you think is quote unquote frequency it's literally a living pulse that still has certain waves but it's an, an amalgamation of the bridge before frequency that's what it is it is literally the bridge before frequency i'm beaming that out because that's what it is and this is a beautiful blueprint of of that for sure yeah does anybody want to hop on here live and share their experiences so far all right 
Oh, hey, Celeste. I don't know if you're still in here. All right. Someone says, what do you mean by sun is a black hole? Do your own research. But I will say this. What creates heat? The rubbing of two two parts, right? And all right, how do I how do I shift into this? I mean, I explained it already. Um, yeah, cause I don't know how long you were here, but definitely check out the replay. I I explained it already even the, with the aspect of the gravity. So you have the black hole and you have gravity to the black hole, right? And what is gravity doing? Why is the closer you are to Earth, the hotter it is, right? So what is that telling you? It's pulling. It's pulling. And here is here is the sun-moon connection in this aspect. So, this is Earth. My head is Earth. And if this is a black hole here, don't you think there's another black hole here? And what's happening as the gravity is pulling that's where that center point, that heat, the core is, right? And that core, man, it's just, it's like an inverse of dimensional resonance. It's, it is literally the amalgamation of as above, so below. It, it literally is. All right, guys, we're going to end it there. But thank you all for sharing the breath. You can find the scalar pendants on the alchemybreath.work website under biohacking. It's there. And there's also a search bar as well. If you have any questions, DM or email Devon at alchemybreath.work. And... Tap into the breath, tap into scalar, and do share your experiences doing that breath work and build. Yeah, share and tap into that. And don't forget to have fun with the breath because if it's not fun, what's the point? Peace out, guys.